Cam Drive-In. Some of you may remember going there to watch a movie. Well, it closed down years ago and now the homeless have moved in. Folks who live by are grumbling. KITV4's Ali Duclo tells us what's now being done about it. The site of the former theater is just behind me along Moanalua Road. Now you can see those buildings in the center of the lot. There have been reports homeless people broke in and are living in there. It's sad, honestly. Um, you know, it, there is a history there, um, you know, and a history that, um, that should be respected. City inspectors report the grounds were littered with trash earlier this week. The Department of Planning and Permitting now drafting a notice to the owner for unsafe, unsecured structures and overgrowth. Because it's a private property, the city doesn't have jurisdiction to address the homeless encampment there, and the owner is responsible for clearing out the space. After we notified service providers about the encampment, they went to the site Friday to meet the nine people living there. They're very friendly, very open to um, receiving us. Nikki Winter of Outreach Group Achieve Zero says the people living there agreed to their help. Winter reports a team will go there next week to help them secure necessary documents and start their transition to permanent housing. According to Winter, the people staying there are keeping the area clean and took it upon themselves to change locks to the gates to keep out cars and crime, which Winter feels the homeless have been unfairly blamed for. You know, they're people just like us, right? They they hurt, they, they cry, they laugh, they love. I mean, just because they're having a hardship does not mean that they own the crime problem and, you know, the, the substance abuse problem. We reached out to California-based owner Robertson Properties Group for comment and we're waiting to hear back. In IEA, Ali Iduklo, KITV4, Island News.